हेलो एवरीवन माय शेल शुभम उपाध्याय फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ आई एम हियर फॉर द सेमिनार प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द अर्थ क्वेक रेजिस्टेंस टेक्निक एंड द गाइडेंस ऑफ इंजीनियर जितेन प्रताप सिंह सो फ्रेंड्स लेट फर्स्ट कम टू दंटेंट पार्ट हियर द प्रजेंटेशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट देन वॉट इज द अर्थ क्वेक इट्स कन्वेंशनल एंड एडवांस मेथड्स What are base isolation devices and seismic dampers? Now about its case studies. Then we look for the techniques under research. Work on earthquake resistance in India. Also the IS code used in its designs. Then several seismic zones in India. And the end we end with the references. So let's come to the introduction part. Before centuries. Landmark structures were made, which consists of heavy masonry cladding, wall curtains, strong bracings. The To Jagi Temple in Japan is one of the best example of this. As need for the taller buildings grew, advanced innovative devices we are introduced in the structures. The To Jagi Temple in Japan has a long house construction that has resisted earthquakes for thousands of years. most numbers and structures were survived what is earthquake they are natural disasters of a generally unpredictable in nature it's basically is a shaking of the earth due to the movements of earth crust the terms used in this were fault plane hypocenter epicenter friends earthquake not only leads to the failure of life but also it's linked to the damage of natural buildings natural environment and many others interesting fact is this when such quakes happens enormous amounts of energy is released which is far greater than the big nuclear bomb so you can imagine what a big loss we would suffer for now some conventional methods some of the general designs concepts are quick follow current standards and is codes provide strong foundations best quality of materials avoid irregular shape structures and framing system maintain integrity by providing seismic bands at the plinth level of the building at the level of lintels of doors and windows vertical reinforcing bars at the wall junctions introduce shear walls to transfer seismic load down to the bottom of the foundation so using this conventional methods you can Remedial measures of soft story buildings, bracing in columns of open ground story. The figure A consists of bracings in columns of open ground story. Figure B consists of providing RC shear wall and third figure consists of brick infills between columns. So these are the methods which are used against the earthquakes. Now there are such many advanced methods also. Basic approach is to reduce the earthquake generated force acting upon the building rather than strengthening it. So, the basic method you can do the force which you are applying on the building it can be generated and which leads to the shaking. So, the best method is applied on it by generating force upon the building rather giving them a strength. Two main method for advanced method is base isolation and energy dissipation devices. Base isolation method devices. base isolation devices are sub are devices in which buildings are separate from building foundation by bearing pads lead rubber bearings spherical sliding isolation systems the second figure consists of building foundations and in the first figure we see the lead puck and the attachment plates are side side by side they are generated and stiffening plates and rubber layers are attached to it supported by the series of bearing pads which are placed between the buildings and found building foundations now fixed base building deform are dam and are damaged and base isolated building rocks forth and forth like a boat shaking is reduced in this using this condition the in in earthquake the shaking is reduced by as much as 5 times which reduces the loss caused due to the earthquake Now, what are any 
G dissipation devices that is seismic tempers. Some special devices introduced in buildings absorb the energy produced by seismic waves. In this, there are th three kinds. These are viscous tempers, friction tempers, and metallic tempers. Now, let's what are these? Viscous tempers utilize the force movements of fluids between the damper, and fri whereas friction damper utilize the frictional force to dissipate the energy. On the other hand, the metallic tempers utilize the deformation of metal elements within the damper. So, these were the types of dampers. Now let's come to the case studies. There are major cases studies we look for. First case study was Tory Mayor. In Tory Mayor, 252 reinforced concrete piles on the foundation were made. Around 46,916 meter cube of concrete area were captured and 21,200 tons of structure and informed steels and 98 fluid viscous seismic dampers. In this, calculated the exceed the seismic requirements of the Mexico City and California construction regulation which are the strictest in the world. This is the case of Mexico City in which several methods were used for the earthquake resistance technique. Now second case study is of Trans America Pyramid. In 1989, Loma Prieta California earthquake, it swallowed more than one foot but was not damaged at all. In this case, one foot of was whole swayed but there were no damage at all. It was a unique truss system with X bracing above the first floor to support vertical, horizontal and torsional forces. Over horizontal X bracing to support torsional movement and the vertical direction. So using this method, this case, they were no damage at least or you can say least damage at all third case is for it was of the pi 101 the pi 101 it was it was used it used a mass dumper also known as harmonic absorber which absorbs the harmonic shaking steel spear in this case a steel spear of 18 feet across and weight of 728 ton is used suspended from the 92nd to the 87th floor devices consist of mass in this case the device which will consist of massive steel ball the swap that swaps the counter at the building movement eight steel cables from the slime to support the ball eight viscous tempers act like shock absorber when the spear shift two additional tuned mass tempers for the additional protection the wall can move 5 feet in any direction and reduce swells by 40%. Please let us now look for the techniques which are under research now. First one is shape memory alloys. In shape memory alloys in this condition bounce back after experiencing launch slope. In this condition they will be bouncing back of the uh, when it experiences a large or building material after experiencing a large load. Used in peering column and beam and connecting of elements. This shape memory alloys were used in peering columns and beams and connecting elements. Most common alloys which are used in this case are copper zinc aluminium nickel, copper aluminium nickel or nickel titanium. Techniques like muscle fibers. These are also under research. In this case, elastomeric fibers combine stiffness and flexibility, which helps muscle to attach the hard surfaces. Construction material made of similar blend of firm and flexible parts could help building with stand high stress forces during an earthquake. This two ratio of stiff to a flexible fibers is 80 to 20. Viscoelastic damper CST30 is also under research. In this condition, two layers of high damping rubber sandwich between steel plates, which absorb the energy produced from the vibration. Viscoelastic damper CST30 advantages are over trading damping system, effective utilization of inter interior space except different vibration types, improvements in the degree of freedom of design, high performance and high quality, environmental friendliness and maintenance free. Mainly environmental friendliness with 
is the major requirement because the major loss which suffers due to the earthquake is the environment. Rubber cooking devices. Rubber cooking devices could make buildings immune on to the earthquakes. Waves can be made to bend their parts by various techniques. Seismic waves can be redirected. This is called clocking. Rubber clocking devices are installation concrete and plastic plate of concentric rings encircles the foundation. Detour means during earthquake bending force deflects wave from their path towards a stiffer ring away from the building. This is known as detour. What is exist about halfway around plate bending force weakens waves forward momentum properly than on the original path. Now let us come back to the India. What are the work which are happening for earthquake resistance in India? In India, base isolation technique was first demonstrated after 1993 Kilari earthquake. Two single story buildings were built with rubber base isolators resting on the hard ground. The four story Bhuj hospital building was built with the base isolation technique after 2001 Bhuj earthquake. These were the method which were used in India for the earthquake resistance. Now let us see to the IS codes which are basically used in the earthquake resistance designs. First one is IS 1893, Indian standard criteria for earthquake resistance design. Now IS 4326, IS 131827, this is used for improving earthquake resistance. IS-13828 This is used for improving earthquake resistance of low strength mensary buildings IS-13920 This IS code of practice for the ductile detailing of reinforced concrete st structures subjected to the seismic force Now look at for the seismic zones in India Seismic zones are divided into four major zones which carry the different parts in, of the Indian now look at the, the differences. Differences I took the differences of Morris Neil Earthquake Tablet Publishing Company and the Maza and Volcano base isolation techniques for the seismic production of RC frames, the Kellis current handling mechanism of energy absorption in special devices for used in earthquake creation technique. The fourth one is seismic protection with fluid viscous dampers for the Tory mayor. Fifth one is collar case. Ionesis structural system and tune mass dampers of super tall buildings. Sixth one is and the last one is Farad Keno and Inos. Plexa waves on a thin elastic plate are smoothly bent around an obstacle. Thank you.